Hey guys, I wanted to share a little bit of my aerial routine and how I stretch out. Now, I usually like to perform, but since I have this little guy in my house, it is so good for just middle of the day stretching or just waking up and getting release from your body and really opening up so you can have an amazing day. So let's get started. I usually start where I'll put this right on my below my shoulder blades. Once you get it in the right spot, you can just lean back and lean side to side and really get in those shoulders and heart openers. So you can lean back and just wiggle around. Ah. Breathe into every little area of your body and set your intention to have an open heart throughout the day. Mm, hands can even go behind your neck. Ah, and then, when that feels good, there's also a little IT band stretch. So you take your right foot and you just cross it over. And then you should feel that on your left IT band. And just breathe here. We're gonna do three deep breaths. Last one. Stretch it back. and then switch it. So left leg over. Mm, you should really feel that in your side. And we'll do three breaths here like we did on the last side. And last one, three. And then just come back up and go right underneath your plumb line. So after that, I usually like to go upside down. So if you've never done aerial before, make sure that when you're going upside down, you bring this to your tailbone. So that is the correct placement. And you know if it's correct, if it feels good when you're upside down. So I'm gonna bring it to my tailbone I'm going to straddle my legs while I'm holding on and then slowly go back. When you get here, you can literally just hang or you can walk your arms. Ariel is all about finding out what feels good in your body. Since we all have different bodies, there is no one right or wrong way to do it. You can twist. And then, so once you're in your straddle pose, you're going to hook one foot around your post and then circle your other foot back. And this is called chandelier. So you can grab with either one hand or both hands, whatever feels good to you. And if you feel comfortable here, here feel free to straighten this leg. Once again, this is a great heart opener and back stretch. So really play around, you guys. When you're done with that side, kick your leg out, strip, bend this one back, and then bend it in. And then you can even take a little break here, grab your feet, hang. This is amazing for your spine. Ariel is such a good spine release. And then when you're ready, you take your other leg out and around. I'm gonna straighten this one, and then I'm just gonna grab. Take a couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, come back around. And before I go up, I like to 
grab my ankles. This is just an amazing stretch for your inner thighs. And just hold here. If that's too much for you, you can just grab your knees. And then from here, we're gonna clip our legs back in. We're gonna grab up and you're gonna pull yourself up. Your legs go through and then you end up in this position. So from here, you can, I, I would lean forward. <laughs> and that is where you're gonna get a good stretch. So just hook your arms and just lean forward and breathe. <sighs> And then we can kick one foot out, and this is called ninja. And then you kick the other one. And then when you're ready to come down, you grab one side of the post, and you lean to that side, and come back into your chandelier. And if you're like, actually, I've had way too much upside down, let's grab up slowly and come down right into a hanging position. So once, if you're not used to being upside down, please hang for as long as feels good in your body. So just like this. <sighs> good little blood flow. It's like a coffee rush, but better. <laughs> and then after that, I'm just gonna grab my pose and do a little shoulder stretch. Get used to being on the ground again. Remembering to ground my feet, ground those roots from your feet going into the earth. And then I can actually put my hands together, slide it down and go like this and lean side to side. Breathing into those places that we don't really get to every day. This is why I love Ariel because you stretch so many more muscles than you can just yourself. This little guy helps a lot. <laughs> so after that, we're gonna go into a front belt now. So our front belt is gonna be right on our hip bones and so we're basically just gonna go into a down dog, but with this little guy on you. So you take this, you bring it down, and then you lean forward into your down dog. Straddle your legs and go side to side. So once you're here, you can literally just walk around in down dog, See what feels good to you and then if you're ready we're gonna do a Superman so you're gonna hold this pose for at least five seconds and then if that's too easy you straighten your arms in front of you I'm not there yet I'll get there and so we're gonna hold this for five four three two and one and when you're done tuck into a little ball <laughs> And just hang. Just love yourself. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Come on up. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep going. 3, 2, and 1. See if you can get your hands up and talk. <laughs> Kiss your knees. Tell them how much you love them. And then we're going to go back into our down dog. We're gonna hook one leg up the side of the post and straighten your other leg that's down and grab it with both hands. <sighs> and stretch here. If you wanna get a spinal stretch, you're gonna take, if your left foot is down, you're gonna take your right hand and grab it and then straighten your other hand. So that gets a really nice spinal twist and you're stretching your legs. And then when you're done with that, hook 
your leg back on and straighten out your other leg. <sighs> Take at least five deep breaths here. Knowing this is so good for your body. You can do a spinal twist on this side. and just stretch forward, lean forward. We're gonna be here for three to five breaths. <sighs> and if you're a wiggly person, feel free to move it side to side. It's still a great stretch too. And then from here, we're just gonna slide it on down to our knee, lean a little forward, and go into our warrior two. So make sure your back leg is facing the side of the room that you are facing. Arms go through and lean towards the fabric. Woo! Ah, really breathe into that stretch on your inner thigh. <sighs> so lucky we get to move our bodies and feel. And then when you're ready, just come on up. And then we're actually gonna go into a half pigeon. So to go into a half pigeon, make sure you are under your streamline. Bring it back to your ankle bend your knee like a number seven so your knee and ankle is in alignment your hands go through and you're just gonna lean forward if this feels really good you can put take your bottom foot on the ground and go a little more forward so i'm going on my toe on my left leg and that is just gonna make it a little deeper <laughs> breaths here and once again you guys I'm just trying to move through to show you guys but feel free to pause this video and stay longer so I'm gonna come back up underneath my plumb line and switch to my other leg so I have both hands on swinging back taking my other leg inside going underneath my line and just leaning forward again. If you can, try and keep your hips as straight as possible. It's harder if your line is higher, so no worries if it can't. Once again, just listen to your body. It knows what it needs. And if you can, forehead to knee, you guys. <laughs> Last deep breath. And then slide it down to your knee. We are gonna open up to a warrior two from here. So remember, my right leg is now facing the wall and I am leaning towards the fabric. Breathing as deeply as you can just to get into those tight little spots. And coming up when you feel ready. After that, we are going into our pigeon pose. So slide it back down to your ankle, 
bend your knee into a number seven. Arms through and come forward. Any emotions that come up, we are stretching our hips where emotion is stored. So just observe it because anything that comes up is just coming up to be healed and your presence with the thought will help heal it. You can rock side to side or stand still. When you're done, come back underneath, slowly unwind and put your, um, the inside of your foot on the fabric and we're gonna actually go into that. So both feet come in and straddle your knees out. And then from here, we're gonna go down slowly. So you take one arm in front, one arm in front, grab both posts, and then slowly go down. And then from here, you're just gonna hang. You can go into a reverse prayer, or you can just let your arms go. Five deep breaths here, just letting anything not serving you flow off your back. And when you're coming out of this, you wanna come out slowly. You're gonna grab the posts and slowly walk your arms up and then take one arm out at a time and then straighten your legs out and you can just come into a sitting pose. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that little stretching session and there's definitely more to come. So thanks for tuning in.